In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this text motion graphics in DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and drag in a Fusion composition and head over to the Fusion page. Now here, just go ahead, drag in a background and let's drag in a text. Connect the text to the background and let's go ahead, write in anything that you want. And the font that I'm using is the Poppins and change this to extra bold. And I'm also going to change this size to 0.1 and also right click over here and enable the guides so that you can see how this looks or where the position is. Now the next thing is to add another text and let's connect it to this merge. And I'm just going to copy this text from here and then right click and then select the settings so that we have the same settings over here as well. Now in the first text, what we're going to be doing is go over to the shading and from here just select this appearance to outline, text outline. And now we can add a duplicate node. So go ahead, make sure you have this node selected and press control space. Search for duplicate and hit enter. And from here, if you change the copies to let's say three and change the Y axis from there, this is how it will look. So over here seems fine. You can position this somewhere around here. And now let's go ahead to the text tool and change the color to, let's say, red. And over here, you will see that we have this outline because we have another text in the background. So we're going to start animating. Now, before we do that, let me just disable this and animate this word over here. So go over to the text tool, right click, and then select follower. Go over to the modifiers tab and change the order to random but one by one and change the delay to three. Now go over to shading and from here let's create a keyframe at 10 frames in the opacity and then go back to zero and then change this to zero as well. So this is how it will look. Now let's go ahead and enable this text one and from here let's go ahead and create a keyframe at 20 over here at duplicate. So in the duplicate section, I'm just going to create a keyframe at let's say 30 in the center and go over to 20 and create a keyframe at Y and this time change this to 0 0.5. So over here you can see this comes in and then this goes up. But over here at 20, let's just go over to the text node from here and create a keyframe at opacity at 20 and change this to zero. Then at 21 frames, let's go ahead and change this back to one. And this is how it looks. And also at 20, create a keyframe in your text tool in the layout section over here at center and go over to 30 and let's change this to this position. So if you see this now, this is how it will look. And now go over to the spline tab. And from here, just go ahead, select this displacement for the duplicate. Select the keyframes and hit S so that this eases in. And then do the same thing for X2. So over here you can see. And make sure that you unselect this opacity and only select the displacement and hit S on the keyboard. So if you play this now, this is how it will look. Now let's go ahead and add in a line as well. So add this background and this polygon tool. Right click and remove this polygon line and connect it and connect the background to the merge. And also change the background color to white. And from the polygon, let's go ahead and use this guide over here to create a line. Like this. And now let's go ahead and change the border width to 0 0.001 or let's say 0 0.002, change this to flat style, and then let's move this down. So use this y-axis to move this down. And here you can see this is how it looks. So let's go ahead over at 20 frames and create a keyframe at length, and then at zero, let's change the length to zero. And go ahead and change the keyframe to ease in in the spline section, just like we did for the text. And let's also add another text. So let's go over here and add another text node connected to this one. 
And for this one, I'm just going to be using this Japanese text and the font that works for it is this one. So, but this is optional. I'm just doing this for adding a little bit, just to change it a little bit, see how it looks. So let's say add 0 0.002. It looks okay, I guess. Let's change this to 0 0.015. Now it looks perfect. And now let's add in another text and connect it. And for this one, I'm using this text over here. And let's also change this to pop-ins and then to light. And let's reduce the size so that this is matching the size of our other texts and change the H anchor to left and also move this right here. And let's also move this one slightly. And this looks perfect. And now let's animate these as well. So over here at 20, let's go over to text three, create a keyframe at 20 and create another one at 30. And the one at 20, just change the right down to zero. And now let's do something for this text over here. So over at 25, let's go over here to the opacity, to the shading and over here change the opacity. And at 30 frames, we will make this visible. So at 25, let's change this. And let's go ahead over at 40 and create a keyframe in the layout in the center. And then let's go over to, let's say 25 and then change this slightly downwards. So let's play this and see how this looks. And here you can see very nice looking text motion graphics. So this is how you can create this sort of an animation in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you will find this video useful and I'll see you in the next video.